Hesitation has let me down. How can I deal with this? I don't know when to go. Hi, I'm Patrick Bill and welcome back to our Retro HGV training series. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. Do this now. And in this episode, I'd like to show you and explain how to not hesitate when driving HGVs, how to plan better and how to pass this test with ease. I've been teaching people for almost 20 years now and I'm so sure about my techniques and training that I'm offering now pass guarantee. You can find the contact to me in the description of this video. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the hesitation. A hesitation itself is a big problem on the HGV test and on the HGV training, just because the vehicle is so much longer, so much bigger and so much heavier. So you need to plan better how to get yourself in into the roundabout, into the junction or how to deal with these tight corners. But the hesitation also comes with confidence and the confidence on the road when you drive HGV comes with practice. So if you've done four hours or six hours on the road in a HGV, you will not be confident. You will not have the confidence to pass your test. That's why you need to practice. So we as a retro, we offering big package, big course, which is made for purpose. You are going there, you are going to the test center, confident and ready to pass not going for a luck and trying you trying to pass trying your luck you are going with us you are going to just to get this test done and show to the examiner how good you are now let me take you onto the roads so first example of hesitation is when you trying to get going and join the traffic so for example and they will tell you now move off when you're ready and you switch in on your signal to the right you're checking your mirrors you're checking your blind spot and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting so the cars from behind they're just gonna start overtaking you okay so the way to do it is basically you indicate you check your mirrors you check your blind spot and you start going okay so you don't hesitate when you want to go just plan to go but this is all it's, it's all connected to the uh, students not being prepared for the test uh, properly because they haven't spent enough time on the road we're coming now to the roundabout we're going to be turning right it's not too busy roundabout just checking my mirrors indicating right Okay, so another example of hesitation here. So not going when you can, okay? So students normally would come to the roundabout, first of all, put the handbrake on and wait, and wait, and wait. And keep on waiting, keep on waiting. So this was the chance to go, but he didn't go. So he's waiting and waiting and waiting. And then, and then going when they shouldn't go or going too late. So not taking the chances, okay? You've got to be looking onto the whole situation, onto the whole roundabout. Um, so you take that chance, so you not hesitate. But again, you've got to get few roundabouts behind your belt, if you know what I mean. Uh, to get yourself comfortable, to get yourself confident. Okay, we're coming to the next roundabout and again you don't want to be hesitating. So the plan for the roundabout, you've got to have a plan, okay? We're going to be turning left first exit. So checking my mirrors, both mirrors, indicating left on the approach and slowing down in time. Now we've got the cars 
in front of us. So I slow down earlier, maybe this table will clear and we can just keep on keep on moving and just get to the roundabout while we move. So look, the car is gone, now we are moving, this car is going there and we can join, we can go. So the best stay on the move, keep on moving, keep on moving, keep this truck moving. Once you stop, it's very, very, it's very difficult to get going again. Okay. So now we're roundabout. We're gonna be going second exit, following the road ahead. So take the good position on the approach. You can see that there's two lanes approaching the roundabout and there's two lanes through the roundabout. So we can start in the left hand lane nicely and that was pushing too much. Shouldn't go, the car was just coming from around that bend. So just be careful on that. Just looking at the green light, green is mean. So not accelerating through the traffic lights. I'm just hovering over the brake and waiting for the track for the lights to go to amber and red and then I'm ready to stop and you stop before the white line if you cross the white line then you just need to go you need to leave the junction So we're going to be turning left at this roundabout and again approach slowly and look for the gap and be ready to go when there is a chance to go. Okay, and off we go. So keep the truck moving and then it's so much easier to do. Now again, speed limit 60 here. So we're just keeping the foot down and going for it. Nice and open road, you can see quite a lot. Just keep on going, keep on going. Just checking these mirrors between 7 to 10 seconds all the time. So again, here you just scan, you're gonna be turning left at the roundabout. But if you look at the sign, especially the white big board of, with the roundabout. You can see there's a filter lane, which will just take us without touching the roundabout really. So I indicate left just for the pedestrians that, would, uh, that might wanna cross the road over there. And keeping an eye on the roundabout, but going in my lane nicely. And that's it. Okay. So we come into the traffic lights now, and this is another example of hesitation. And I, I tell you this now. So we're gonna stop at the red light, leaving enough space to the car in front, so it's a car length, handbrake on, and normally shouldn't we just, oh yeah, we're waiting at the traffic lights, you know. 
and we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. When the light changes, should be going. You should be uh, ready to go. But what happens sometimes? Um, the lights are well in green, and um, and the track is still stopped, where it doesn't have to be, because you know there is enough time when they go into amber to check your mirrors, blind spot if you have to, and then off you go. Okay, so I'll show you how it should be done. Amber checking off, green light, we go in. Not hesitating, not waiting for too long. Okay, so this is a good example as well uh, of um, the roundabout, as you can see, is quite tight. I need to use another lane, but to use it, I'm not just gonna go into the right hand lane. I indicate, of course, checking my mirrors before that. And then I'm splitting the lanes and going through the roundabout, indicating off. And it's nice and easy then, okay? Nice and confident. But is you've got to plan properly for this. You've got to, you've got to look further ahead, not just here. Like with the car, when you're driving the car, you can just look just in front there, and you should be okay, unless you're going like 100 mile per hour or something. Uh, but you know, with this speed, you press the brake, the car will stop. With the truck, it's not that easy. It's not going to stop instantly. It's too heavy. And in other occasions, of course, if you don't look far ahead, then you're going to end up on a curb or taking something with you, like a lamppost or other road furniture. So again, looking at this traffic lights now, it's red, but my hand is on a handbrake and I am ready to check in that blind spot mirror when it's amber and when the green is on you just on gas and you're going okay you're not hesitating it's just so frustrating you know when you when you're on a test and you and, and you don't know what to do because that's what hesitation um unless unless you're really stressed the hesitation normally comes to the you're not being ready for the test so we're just coming off in this right lane of this roundabout And we're checking the right hand mirror because we've got these cars here. Okay, and another traffic light, red. Just slow down early. Or rolling slowly. Maybe we'll change. If it doesn't, then we stop. Car length, handbrake. And again, my hand is on the handbrake and I'm waiting for this to change to amber and green because this is you know that's what's gonna happen so i'm back blind spot mirrors off we go we're going with the traffic you don't wait any longer you're long enough you're heavy enough and you're slow enough you don't need to slow down anymore all right we're going to be going a5 south so it's the first exit of this roundabout and i'll show you something else in here so it's again coming could come as well potentially to the hesitation we're gonna indicate left coming off okay so like these cars you know they going really slow if they were going a bit faster I can I can just floor it and fly through this okay build up the speed don't hesitate and go 30 mile per hour on a slip road where you have to join 70 mile per hour traffic pretty much you've got to build up the speed and match the speed of the traffic because otherwise you won't be able to get into this Yes, hesitation, just ask for more training really. Do more training, do drive every day, every 
every day on the road on this one every four or five hours you, you're doing it's it's so much it gives you so much more now just observing when this car is coming into our lane uh, that we maintain the distance so it's two seconds today and again I'll tell you how to judge it so the Merck in front when they reach the blue sign I'm gonna say the sentence only a fool breaks two second rule only a fool breaks two second rule so it's about four seconds behind the Merck we were so it looks very far but it's not really you know that far four seconds you know for wet conditions that would be the distance between seven and ten seconds all the time just see like now in this mirror I can't see much because it, the bends go run to the left so when I check the left hand mirror I can see a little bit more I can see I can see something so like I can see the van now just behind us in this mirror of course we can't see it so it's all important stuff um, for example we got because we're gonna be coming off on the next sleep road so if you see the motor, motorbike filtering somewhere in your mirrors and then you can't see this motorbike when you're coming off and, and you know that they didn't go, they didn't stay on this road because you looked, they went out there, then there's a very big chance that they just behind your trailer. So when you come to the next junction with the next, next roundabout, you know that the motorbike, they want to be definitely in front of the truck, you know? So all these informations are so important and you've got to be pick, picking up these things. So indicating at the marker of one and coming off this slip road. At the bottom, we're gonna be turning right as well. So I'm gonna stay to the right, but not all the way to the right, because I don't know how much space I will need over there. So I'm sort of telling others, you know, I'm big, try to not go onto my side okay so leaving a little bit of trailer in that lane the angle then into that roundabout will be so much better for you than actually starting from the right and then moving to the left just before that because now your lane is there not out and in So good information you are getting here guys and again I'm staying in the middle over there because I was in the middle I was blocking and now I will start moving to the left because this is my my lane my lane of driving sort of cancelling the signal and this roundabout and we can stay here in our lane but over there, you know, when you started in the, in the middle, you're splitting the lanes and you're not sure if you're going to fit over there. There's no point to go to the left. You, can, you might as well just stay for a little bit longer. You're going you're gonna to make less, this less worse when you, when you do it that way. Then when you're trying to squeeze someone it's not next to you, it's just, it's just hard. So looking over there, two roundabouts, you can see the, the first one's got the 
left hand lane is go to uh, to go straight and then i'm looking at the road markings uh, road markings further up and i can see the left hand lane is to go to the left and we are going straight so i'm just splitting the lanes and coming off here okay i want to show you now this nice set of the roundabouts which are very very hard um but we love to train students or something really hard as then they can cope with <laughs> easier things all right so we're going to be following to old bletchley all right which is left so after the road indicating left of course after checking my mirrors okay and i'm in the left hand lane looking at this very very busy around about and looking for the gap once the gap is there we've got a tip on our side as well that is good so you can see i'll keep on rolling i keep on rolling now is the chance okay so the tip eye is there now old bletchley is straight on so i'm gonna indicate right i'm gonna go into the middle lane when it's clear the tip is gone got a couple of buses as well There you go and we're gonna be going straight on so we've got this sausage roundabout there and we've got the roundabout on the side it's really cool stuff really cool I'm telling you so how about hesitation here eh? <laughs> mayhem all right all right all right let's do this let's do this okay approaching the middle lane right we're going over there so we've got three lanes we're going to stay in the middle lane then this middle lane will be outside lane of that roundabout over there okay we've got things voids from this side and also these guys going all the way around sometimes as we know okay so it looks like it's clear this guy is blocking one blocker is not enough though um, one blocker is not enough okay so we're going left here Okay, we've got blockers, we've got blockers, all right. So we're gonna get into this, checking the mirrors all the time, nice and slowly. Now we're gonna indicate right, because this is where the old bletchley is. Checking that mirror to see these people, okay? Nothing coming from the right, now we can take it. Che checking that mirror as well, to see if nothing wanna go on the right over there. And just pretty much staying in our lane here. Ah, it's excellent and very late indicating to the left that was and coming close to the curb i did but this is the way to do it and you've got to be looking at the whole situation you've got to be looking you know on the people and they very often not indicating they're indicating correctly so you need to see how their wheels are turning how they are how they are behaving how fast they are going because sometimes uh, they will go really fast and you know is with this speed the car will not turn towards you so even though they're not indicating off the roundabout you know they're not gonna come so you can use that as a signal so they're not signaling is your signal to go we're gonna be turning left at this roundabout first exit I love it is that this kind of busy traffic is just something that is really really cool for the lesson so all right we've got a car over there but look how far that is it's going very slow as well so look at that just going through the roundabout probably like 15 miles per hour not too fast that this car is not even behind us now so if you know that you're gonna make it before the car then go yeah take your chance Examiners, they will love it. You know, they want to go from A to B. They're not going to be. They don't want to be sitting on the road for ages. And you've got to show that confidence. Don't hesitate. I think we're going to hit the school pickup. So all the mums speeding to the schools and taking the kids. All right. Left of the mirror on the boat. It's 
So just looking at this band, because I wasn't sure, and then looking across, oh, we've got we've got Prius, another one. Okay, flashing. So when they flashing, you say they're flashed, and then you go. Said school pick up. Everyone is out. Bada boom, bada boom, bada bim, bada boom. Lovely. Right, following the road ahead. Second exit on this roundabout. Okay, nice position and looking early at the roundabout. Looking ahead looking to the left, looking to the right, nothing is here, then here we go, off we go, so planning, looking, indicating left, there is a kid as well on the pavement, so we're looking at him, nothing is coming from here, so we can use it as lane, and off we go, we're gonna come here now to the next mini roundabout, and again, and again, we just wanna see the situation. So as much as whole danger comes from the from the right, we wanna see from the left as well. So looking to the left, indicate the left, because that's where we're going. And as I'm saying, this is where they're coming, but looking to the left as well, because we can use the blockers then. And when it's clear, you just go, yeah? Making sure you stay with the cab out, bring it out, bring it out. Yeah, that's it. All right. Now, back to this wonderful thing. Double mini roundabout junction. And we're gonna be turning right towards A5 South. Um, okay indicating right and I want to be slightly in the left hand lane so I'm not going just waiting for these cars to move so I've got better angle because look how tight that is ah, it looks really tight so I've got a little bit of truck in the left hand lane with two blockers we could have gone, but this this pickup is just going for it, and now it's too close for comfort. Okay, jug is gone, All right? And now we're just going in. This is a divider, so we're staying close to the divider. Mini roundabout there, bringing nice and close to the curb. You can see on the on the curb mirror trailer is nicely missing the island and off we go now and this one drive really slowly and out here okay and this is just perfectly fine Off we go, 30 mile per hour. It's gonna build up to 30 when it changes, check your mirrors, and we can go a little bit faster. Which is first exit of this 
around the box. So, here is folks, hesitation. Don't hesitate, take extra time for your, for your training, do a little bit more so you're more confident and you can show and pass this test with ease. All right, all right, all right. So we finished this little training and I hope you can see how to not hesitate, how to apply this when you're driving and what to do if you're not sure when to go or not. Now, if you like this video, please press this big thumb. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel, share and comment. Drive safe.